When we talk about integrations, we use a lot of different terms. Let's step through a few of them. First, when we talk about building an integration, we're talking about providing a connection between two or more applications and moving data between them. In a simple integration that passes data from application A to application B, we represent the source system and the destination or target system. We use the word source to refer to the application the data comes from, and destination to refer to the application that receives that data. These are the endpoints in our integration, whether the applications they represent are on-premise or in the cloud. Between the source and destination endpoints, we take action to transform the incoming data into a format that's compatible with the destination system. That action is called data mapping or just mapping. The word suggests copying incoming data fields to outgoing data fields, and a lot of times that's exactly what we do. But there's more to mapping than just copying. We can also reformat incoming values to suit the needs of the destination system. We can ignore incoming fields we don't need, and we can insert values that the destination system needs, but that aren't available in the incoming message. Sometimes we use other terms when we talk about source and destination endpoints. The source is also called a trigger, and the destination is sometimes called an invoke. These terms refer to the roles the endpoints play when the integration runs. It might be useful to think about the source endpoint triggering all the subsequent actions we've defined in our integration. And likewise, it might be helpful to think about the integration calling or invoking interaction with the destination application. Depending on the style or design pattern of our integration, we might have other combination elements, but we still use the same terms. A larger, more complex integration might interact with multiple applications. Those interactions might pass data to an external system, receive data from it, or both. But in any case, each of the additional interactions is also called an invoke. And for each of those invokes, we're also going to use an additional mapping. There's a lot of other actions we can take between invocations too, but we're going to save those for another conversation. In the meantime, these basic terms, source, destination, endpoint, data mapping, trigger, and invoke are probably going to crop up in just about any conversation you have about integrations.